leaders read or something like that? Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, right now I'm on a, a reading vacation, meaning not that I'm not reading, just that I'm still working through Lord of the Rings. I read The Silmarillion and The Hobbit and The Fellowship and The Two Towers, and now I'm on The Return of the King. So hopefully I'll be back to doing tactical book reviews soon, but uh, bear with me while I'm on this very enjoyable, uh, beautifully sad vacation in reading. It's, if you haven't read The Silmarillion and the whole trilogy, you should, it's very good. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is about reading and how we, collective we here, need to read. Now, a lot of you that follow this channel are readers, um, and you might have started following this channel because of my tactical book reviews. Uh, and, and I know that I've gotten a lot of very helpful and positive feedback on that. Love you guys, love my readers out there. It's very important to be reading. For the rest of you, if you're watching this and you don't consider yourself a reader, uh, go ahead and become one. Uh, reading is still, throughout all the videos and technology and everything else, it's still the highest amount of information for the lowest cost uh, out of any medium. Um, you know, books are usually packed with information. Oh, hey, there's some really bad books out there. I reviewed a few on this channel, uh, but there are some really, really good ones out there. I'd like to say that I, I happen to write one, but there are other very good ones out there too, right? And we should be reading those. There's lots of good books. Like I remember um, I had a buddy who was in the Marines for a very long time. And, uh, you know, they, in the Marines, they have like a, I think it's called the Commandant's List or something, but they have a list of books that you need to be reading in order to increase your rank, right? In order to get a job promotion, you have to be reading these books. And I, I think that there's, there's value in that. The Marines, by the way, get a, get a really bad rap because, you know, we call them all crayon eaters and morons and whatever. But actually, out of all the military manuals I've read, the Marine ones are the best ones. Um, and, you know, they seem to do the most reading. Which is, which is interesting. Uh, but reading is very important. If you want to be a better Minuteman, a, have a better draw, be a better shooter, whatever, you wanna grow in this overall gun space, wherever you consider yourself here, find a book for that. Find a book for that. Uh, there's, I guarantee you there's more than one and it will help you grow incredibly. It'll give you things to ponder on. Now, if you're like, oh, I can't concentrate and whatever, whatever, I think people that don't like reading just haven't found something to read that interests them. Honestly, and, and, and if you're in this space and this interests you and you're excited about that, there are some really good books out there for you. I've reviewed a ton of them on this channel, okay? So you can go out and you can find those and read them. But this is just a very short encouragement to remind you, we need to be reading, right? We need to be growing ourselves in knowledge. Now, is that, is, that, is that the end game? Is that all there is? Of course not. Obviously, you gotta get out and do it. You gotta practice, you gotta work, you gotta whatever. But we need to have a very solid knowledge base. I would hope that uh, in some degree, your knowledge is always outstripping your ability, right? You always know more about than you've actually done. Not because you're not doing stuff, but because your reading is that far ahead of, of where you're at, right? So. Keep reading, keep growing, keep learning that stuff because, I don't know, maybe it'll be useful someday. Who knows? Do brave deeds and endure.